Hey guys, welcome back. So today on this video, we're talking about iPhones and more specifically, I'm going to show you how to turn off notifications on your iPhone. So let's go ahead and talk about that. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video, not a lot of steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But all this is going to be handled right through the iPhone settings app. It's this gear icon right here. Nothing you need to download, it's already on your iPhone. I'm gonna click there now. All right, I went ahead and opened up the settings app on my iPhone, but why would you wanna go ahead and turn off all your notifications or turn off notifications on your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. Possibly you work in an office and you don't want your notifications to be pop up around your coworkers to see who you've been messaging. Or maybe you just find them a little annoying because they always pop up, especially if they happen to be for games or something like that. Whatever the case is, it's actually a pretty easy process. So once you're here in the settings app for your iPhone, you wanna scroll down until you get to this section called notifications. It's this little red app right here, it has a little white dot on it. I'm gonna click there now. So the unfortunate thing about iPhones is they don't allow you to turn off all notifications permanently here in the settings, at least not yet at the recording of this video. For notifications, you're gonna to have to turn them off app by app, so each individual app. So for example, let me go ahead and click on this American Airlines app right here. Okay, as you can see, I have already turned off notifications for American Airlines. However, if I want to go ahead and allow that, you're just gonna scroll the bar over, and as you can see, these pop up, and you can kind of customize it as you would like. So do you want notifications to show up on lock screen, notification center, or banners? If you'd like to go ahead and remove all notifications on your iPhone for American Airlines app, you just click that green bar back over like I did. Now there will be no notifications from the American Airlines app. So let me go ahead and click back now. Also, if you wanna turn off notifications on your iPhone, you can choose this right here because sometimes apps will show a preview of what the message is. So if you have private messages coming through, you may not want that to be displayed. So you can go ahead and click on this line right here. All right, so now you can see, you get to choose if the notification would show previews. But just keep a note that if you choose never right here, your iPhone is still going to show that there's a notification. It just won't show the preview. So for me, it's okay to show the preview. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on always but that's up to you. You can also change it when unlocked. But what if you want a quick way to turn off notifications temporarily? You can do that on the iPhone settings app again. So let me go back. I'm gonna go back one more. Okay, so here we are on the main settings app for the iPhone. And this is not exactly turning off notifications permanently on your iPhone, but what you can do is you can use this, do not disturb. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, so once you click there, you're gonna get this option here at the top, do not disturb. And it says that it silences calls and notification. So this is more of a temporary fix. If you click that, then you're gonna get this little moon icon here at the top. And that way calls don't come in. And then also notifications will not come in while you're on do not disturb. But again, that's not a permanent way to turn off notifications for your iPhone. If you wanna do that, you do have to set that up app by app. So there you have it. That's the best way I know how to turn off notifications for your iPhone. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.